Doctors are stunned by the discovery of conjoined twins who are sharing a single brain. Unlike most conjoined twins who are connected by a torso, a foot, or a shoulder, four-year-olds Tatiana and Christian Hogan are able to hear each other's thoughts and see what the other is seeing. How is this possible? Because they are joined at the thalamus. That's the part of the brain that sends motor functions and sensations to the cerebral cortex. Their mother shares that when their daughters are playing, one girl can grab a toy from behind their sister's back without even looking because she already knows where it is. But raising conjoined children has its unique challenges. For instance, if one of the girls gets vaccinated, the other one profoundly feels her sibling's pain. Neurosurgeon Doug Cochran, who has examined the twins since birth, says the girls share signals from each other's visual field. This causes one twin to actually see what the other twin sees. Presumably, if one eats pepperoni pizza before going to bed, the other may share the same nightmare and maybe be able to see the scenes as well. Here's something to think about. If all of Jehovah God's creation were conjoined and only one in a million births were of a single human being not connected to the other, the world might pity that poor lonely soul who would be alone most of his or her life. So, regardless if a human being is alone or conjoined, a human life is marvelously and wondrously knitted together by our loving Creator.